Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Becca and as you can see by the title, today we are playing with the Soph X Revolution, well Revolution X Soph, palette collection thing. This is all bought my own money. I am not disappointed. I'm not disappointed with having to spend my own money on this palette. I'm not going to let you go into this thinking, hmm, does she really like it? Has she actually used the Carnival XL Pro to get this fantastic look? Or has she used this brand new palette? Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Let's be honest, I've used this palette. So please make sure you are subscribed for more beauty and crazy makeup related content. And shall we now get into the look? Uh, I think I've already said this anyway, but if I haven't in my intro, then what I'll be doing is I'm going to be flipping this rainbow eye look that I've made with my Soph palette, and I'm going to be replicating over here, but the pink's going to be on the outer, and the green, bluey, yellowy bits are going to go on the inside. Right, so I first went in with shade purple, but I've been pleasantly surprised with my revolution with this revolution normally like i run five miles from any revolution palette but i'm quite happy with this one and i will be keeping it in my collection so this is just placing color on i think i went over the other side about four different times just let you know now i'm going in with the shade lover here nice hot vibrant pink just to drag out from that purple I mean, look how vibrant they are. They're almost as vibrant as the Carnival XL Pro colours. I'm now just taking the shade Cocktail right here. It's a lovely orange. But to not make it go muddy, I'm just going to tap it directly over. The shade did need a lot of building. But once you got it there, it got there. Now, finally, for this bit, I'm just taking this shade Sunshine here and just again, just pulling it up right out so we can get the shape. I mean, to make a yellow, they, they've made a yellow that's yellow that doesn't just disappear into nothing. I've bought expensive palettes before where the yellow just off it goes. Once you're happy with the colour placement, I'm just going back over all the shades again, just to re-intensify them. I love this like did anyone else expect this kind of color payoff from revolution it's a revolution however it may have just you know prompted me maybe to explore their palette section a lot more anyway i'm going to carry on with this and then we can keep talking so we are just going in now with blue lagoon here and we're just going to come right in towards the center this will get lost when we add the black in anyway so just make sure you're aware of your placements also don't mix just place next to just diffusing it on a fluffy brush now as the blue needed to go into the green. Now, this blue needed a lot of building. It's very, um, can be a very opaque at times. But I know that when she created this palette, she wanted shades that could be used with other shades and how they can blend and, you know, the whole standard colour theory. So she's added the white in there to be able to blend in the palettes is to make lighter shades to make them pastelier uh, and also she's put the black in there as well to create so you obviously you can create depth in there i think she's listened to everybody and herself that you need a black and white in a palette otherwise you're dipping 
you're dipping into too many palettes all the time and then you've got like seven different palettes open on your desk and you can't move, you can't find your tea. Right. I don't think I actually told you, I am going in with my man here, this green one, just to diffuse. I got scared when I put this colour on because I was like, is it really that colour? But colour theory, my friends, allowed me to use yellow. And my god, didn't this green pop. Just taking sunshine now, like I did on the outer corner, just to brighten up the inside and that green, bring it to life. Sometimes the shades bleed into themselves, so I find it better to just pat the colours on, just so they don't... There's blending in and there's smudging, and I find that sometimes that this, it gave me a little bit of problems with smudging. Then what we're going to do is go in with black in the palette down here, which is Night Owl. Now this is where I feel that it brought got brought to life. The black does need a lot of building. Is it the best black? No. Is it the worst black? No. Does it work? Yes. Like so. I've had to do it like this and patting on gently just so I don't end up smudging the colours between each side. Now what we're going to do is go back through all the same shades again from this side just to re-intensify them and start blending in the black. Now, by the magic of editing, I'm going to cut my crease and I shall be right back. I have now cut my crease. So I just took a little bit more of Night Owl and just patted it over the edge there so I can create my shuckle. I then couldn't decide which shimmer to use, so what I first went in with is the white shade, which is to be fair. Basically, just to set all, just to set the P. Louise base, because it can be quite sticky and knowing what these shimmer shades are like anyway they just give a lot of texture to the eye so if I can remove some of the texture by creating a softer more set base then that is what I shall do then what I did is I here I took Dreamy on my finger first of all because it is a lovely soft shimmery shade that just applies it's just one of those shades that apply a lot nicer with a finger that's that's just it all the way across and then when i can't get any more of my fat fingers i like to take a small just up brush load up my brush and start getting in into all the little nooks and crannies that my fingers can't get to. There we go. Oh no, I was supposed to do this as a TikTok makeup revolution thingy. Dang it. It's the only revolution palette I've got. Once I was happy with that, I thought this isn't enough, so I decided to go into this shiny green, the shimmery green shade here, Festive, just to blend in between the black and the dreamy shade. There we go, right, and then I took like an angled brush, went into Night Owl, which is the black, and just started to curve out this area. It's going to be patchy over here. It didn't on the other eye. I think it's just my eye being weird. Then I took my 
Ico Black Magic. Basically, this was the first one I bought out of my box. It's not the best. It can be quite uh, leaky because it's a bit patchy. We'll fix it a little bit with the black liner. Then, because I thought this look just basically clearly didn't have enough going on on it, I took some collection glitter and some W7 Galaxy Glam Metal Flash Liner for up here. So, as normal, I would have used it as a brow bone highlight. I love this up here, and then I will go over normally with my face highlight just to give it that sheen that standard glitter just won't give it. So with the collection glitter I just faded it in over the cut crease line just a little bit just like so just adds that little bit more dimension. Then taking the W7 again and just following the curve that you've already made just to add that little bit of separation in so I am just going to jump off do all my base and then I'm going to come back to do under the eyes and also we have the highlight palette and the lip lippy lippy stuff to go so stick around and we'll find out how to do the rest right Going back in with the Soap palette now and we're going to use the shade Cookie Dough for contour. I like a multi-purpose palette. I know she did her small one which like she said would be better for kind of going away because the bigger palette size and things like that. But we are still going to try it because that's how I like to test the palette. I don't think there is any shade in here that I would use for a blush. They're all just a bit too, they're a bit, just a bit too pigmented for me. So I have put on the Mama Mitchell, whatever it's gone, creamy blush. Am I enjoying this for contour? I mean, it's working. Do I like it? No. It's too shadowy for me. For that one, so that's a no for contour which is fine I'm just going to fix it up with my BH Cosmetics waffle palette so before we go into fixing the rest of the base and the snatching the eyes out and doing it under the eyes I also picked up the new Soph highlighter collection so this retails for £8 I mean when I swatched it I was in love I was absolutely in love with this, so I'm just taking one of my new Jessup brushes, which is a tapered highlighter brush. And I think I'm going to go in with this side here, just to buff into the skin. It's not glittery. I mean, any sort of highlighter as well will show up any skin texture. It's not flying around my face. It's going where I want it. I really like that. I love a sweaty upper lip. And they leave just the right amount of sheen for what I'm looking for. I don't mind sparkling, but I do like to I do like to shine. Once I've got when I've got my my base on, I want to shine. Otherwise, why would I put highlight on? I thought I'd zoom you in again just so we can do the bottom of the eyes. It seemed to make sense. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I haven't thought about actually how I'm going to do this. We are going to take the outer shades of each eye and we're going to bring them in. So on this eye, we're going to do the blue here. Right. We use the blue. We're going to blend the green. I was about to leave a little bit of space at the front to pull the colours up and in. And then we're going to finish it off with yellow. Most of this is going to be yellow under here. And then what I might do is in the waterline, 
use purple on this eye and green on this eye or blue just to mix it all up a little bit I've never been so impressed with a revolution palette in my life and it's not just because it's Soph's collection and things like that if it don't work it don't work but as you can see from my face it performs like the carnival the yellow is there the pigments there the colors there the whatever you want is there what am i doing next right i'm going to do the pink under the side i've just got my doll beauty lashes so let me just pop those on and then we'll get straight into the lips which i'm not entirely sure is going to go with this look so if it doesn't we're just here to try it aren't we so now what I'm going to do is going to take the lip pencil, just line out my lips and then I'm going to topper it with the lip balm that she's got, which actually I have used over today and it's got such a nice scent to it and it's just got a really nice feel that it leaves on the lips. So... Okay, and just using a little brush I'm just going to pull in the colour. And then hopefully, in my mind, this works anyway. The lip balm will pull the colour around. I haven't actually used it with the lip balm yet. This is a little bit more burgundy, I'd say, than... I love a bold brown lip like that is I don't know why but a brown ombre nude that's me it does smell really nice though it does remind me a little bit of Claire's accessories just the smell of it like it's nice and it's pleasant but it's mm. I really like it, I love the colour, I'm glad I chose this one and not the other one, this was definitely the right choice for me to make. So final thoughts on everything that I purchased today, which was all of these. So we've got the highlighter, we've got the palette and we've got one of the lips. I wasn't going to get everything because all of the highlight shades wouldn't work for me and I just didn't want to do it. So for the eyes then as you can see i went really bright bold and colorful that is something that i wanted to see from this palette and yet i haven't actually seen that as such yet it was definitely inspired by the color story that is in this palette here you know as soon as i saw it i i knew exactly what i wanted to create do i already have a rainbow palette yes i do was i surprised so bad that this was revolutions quality and everything yes yes i was because i don't expect this kind of quality and pigment and color payoff and just absolute ease of blending and just 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 the whole round experience i have never personally received from a revolutions palette so to be able to get this and to be able to work it to such a high quality on myself is absolutely fantastic and if your other palettes perform like this revolution I can tell you now you have definitely gained another customer so well done I think I will be testing out any new revolution products especially a new eyeshadow palette because they are affordable so if you have made it this far in the video then thank you so much you may as well give it a big thumbs up if you are still here and please make sure you are subscribed for more creative beauty content because this will be pretty much the kind of vibe that my channel is all about anyway so if that is what you are about Again, make sure you're subscribed. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know. Did you pick it up? Do you want to pick it up? Why do you want to pick it up? Are you going to? Or are you still waiting for a few more reviews to see? So hopefully I will catch you on my next one. Thanks. Bye.